Legend of Total War here with part 14 of my second Medieval 2 Blitz campaign as the Turks. Uh, I've checked to see what's been put in Nottingham and has been um, uh, Sipahi, so that's good. Now we've just got this battle to do before we arrive at the next turn. Alright, let's do it. So with this battle, these guys here, I'm going to have them attack Hamburg next turn, I think. So they need to take no casualties. And the way we're going to do that is, of course, sneaking inside the settlement again. I can already anticipate that some people aren't going to like that, but... All I can do is shrug my shoulders. What do you want me to do? It's, it's effective. You know, this army here, it's, I mean, it's not even an army, it's just a single unit taking down the entire city. We have to do whatever we can. I hate whiny people that go on about honor. Though that's, that is a, a, minor, I, uh, a minority of people. Most of you just seem to be like me, just want to get victory at any cost. Which is the way it should be. The best generals in history were like that. They treated their own people with with fairness, and fuck the enemy. Beat them in any way you can, and beat them by heaps. Scipio Africanus, for one example, burned down an entire fucking Carthaginian camp, killing 40,000 men. Wasn't even a battle, really. Okay. He's one of my favorite generals in history. Anyway. Let's get back inside here. I don't think they're going to get back in time. They've got... Th oh, they haven't got three minutes as of yet. Three minutes as of... Our men have now. Control of the castle. And we'll stay... Yeah, as far away from them as possible. They might not even make it back to the settlement within three more. Oh, hang on, this guy's running pretty quickly. But can he make it back within two minutes? He's bound to be getting tired. Still got a fair distance to cover. I don't think he'll make it, there's not enough time. No, doesn't even get back inside the settlement. Victory is ours! But only by a sword. Eh, whatever. I didn't take any casualties, so who cares if it was a close victory? They don't all need to be heroic. Now, what happens on the beginning of the of the turn is very important. So we need to make backups. Okay. Now let's see what happens. Good, we needed a general, but what mission are we going to get? Take Rebel Settlement. This is exactly what I wanted. Ha! First time. Good stuff. Take Rebel Settlement. York. Yes, that's what I wanted with uh, best units currently available. So basically I can get some, myself some more Sipahis on this turn. Plus there's also this guy. Alright, so what are we doing? Let's just have a look. Yep, resistance is futile. Trade increased mean leader. Good. Uh-huh. Now let's have a look at these desertion reports. Okay, don't think that's a huge problem. Uh, I'll be able to deal with that. Yeah, oh, okay. I didn't really expect that that would happen, but who cares. Yep, knew about that. Yep, nothing can be done about that, unfortunately. Oh, whoops. Forgot to check who they were. Um, that's okay. I'm aware of that. Desertion. Okay, so here are the actual... This is the first lot of deserted units. So this is... One, two, okay, there's five of them in total, so let's let's tally up where I know that they were coming from. So I know, oh, there's a heretic there. Um, who cares? I know that there was one here, so that was a Ghazi. Where's, where else were they? There was two here, Trebizond archers and spearmen. There's two here. Right, so all of that's accounted for. Very good. Okay, so now I just need to strategize a little bit and figure out what I'm going to do and where I'm going to place this guy. I'm probably going to place him h here, but um, Farage of Burji is in this settlement here. 
And if I just press OK, even if that's the capital, he's always going to go where this guy is, unless he's not sitting inside um, my own territory. So if he's in the sea somewhere, I just really need to decide whether I want to put him in this sea or this one, whether we can even get him there. Anyway, I'll be back shortly. Okay, I've strategized what we need to do. This guy needs to move over here, hire the boat. He can't get on the boat though, we have to destroy the port for some reason. But whatever, now we can get on it. And then we can hire this guy. I want him here so that those guys can go back on Jihad. Next thing to do is I'm going to bring where we are, this guy. Oh, oops. This guy down here. Recruit the ship. You move down one. We're going to go take out Hamburg. This battle here is easy enough to win. I've won it, but I haven't won it without taking f as few casualties as I would like. I need to hire some mercenaries. Because that's important. Another problem is also, that second army is filled with cavalry. The problem with cavalry is, once they route, they're hard to catch. Because routing them is actually not difficult. Okay, these guys. Keep them back here. Okay, we'll see how that goes. You'll have a bit of time. Get rid of these bastards. Want them destroyed before these guys arrive. So as part of the draw out, we need to destroy both armies. This is probably going to sting a bit. It's so, alright, he can take a few casualties and get away with it. Uh, lost someone. Didn't quite get at their archers. That that wasn't the best, but that's okay. He could take some casualties. These guys, however, I don't want them taking any. Also, there was no opportunity here for uh, spamming another general. We just had to go straight at this. You need to chase after them a bit harder. Hard and fast. Let's do it. What's going on here? Is that the captain? Where is he? A foe fights with horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. Our men have slain. Good, he was here. General. Killed him. The serpent's head has been cut off. The tail is sure to wither. So now they're running towards that way. Come and get rid of them. Every last one of them, if you can. That'll do. You gotta chase them quickly. Get rid of them, because we've got to come back here. Right, what I might do is have these guys come up forward a little bit. We might play a bit of a game of tag with them. These guys have run too far back. See, there's the enemy cavalry there. But they're not coming in to assist. What I'd give for some horse archers right now just to shoot them. Great against mailed knights. Don't let any fucking escape. Victory is well within our grasp. In time, the enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Too many are escaping. But at the same time, we need to get back. Okay, that'll just have to do. Let's go back. What are they doing? They're standing still. Okay, that should be alright. Let's go a bit closer then. Because we don't want them to... Well, do we want them to wait until the... Yeah, actually, that could be a good... If they wait until the, uh, the cavalry arrive, and we can pick up the cavalry instead of them, that could actually work if they take a defensive position and we just shoot them from range. But it depends. 
Okay, now they've actually decided to come at us. Alright, problems. We've got to get rid of these guys quickly. Before they arrive. Actually, hang on, hang on. Change of plans. Stop. They are taking a defensive position. Ah, crap. If they come at us, which is exactly what they're doing. Okay, stop shooting. Fuck! That could be good, depends on what they do. made of clay we are winning the battle they seem particularly passive all right let's be very careful with this we've got plenty of ammunition and these guys are excellent fucking shush shit here they come got to start shooting whilst they're walking now if they're gonna fight anyone they need to fight the bodyguard unfortunately he's winded he's gonna be very hard pressed to sort of get rid of them all one thing we actually need to not do is kill the enemy general as weird as that sounds If they're starting to run, I don't like that. You've got to intercept them. Have to intercept them. Okay, now they can actually... They can actually beat my general one-on-one. -on -one. Hence why we need to rely on the skirmishers a lot more. Where do they think they're going? Oh, fuck me. Watch out, watch out. If anyone's going to get charged on here, it needs to be my spearman, not my crossbowman. Enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Okay, if they're going to waver or break... Make fucking sure that we catch enough of them. I can't guarantee that's enough. Hang on, yes I can. That's enough of them. That that would be okay. Over here, we need... You shooting at them? Yep. We're shooting over your head. You should probably take a step back. So how many of these guys do we need to kill? That's says 160 of them. If 16 escape, it's 10%. Uh, plus an additional 8. 24 is allowed to escape. So we've got 7 plus 14 21. So we've killed enough of them. Uh, how about you stop shooting? General should be able to handle this by himself now. Okay. So that is both armies destroyed. Absolutely. Very good. No casualties amongst my infantry. That's the exact what I wanted. I mean, it would have been good if I took less casualties with my general, but I'm not sure if he's even going to get into another fight next turn. And of course we'll execute them. So he gained a few points of stuff. Very good. So he's got like one extra movement point on the um, on the others. If we put the next lot of Sapahis with him, they could actually maintain a full jihad army. But I wouldn't really worry about that too much. Okay, so I'm going to think about whether or not to sack or exterminate that in the next episode. So that's the end of this one. So like and subscribe, part 15's next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.